I am Araceli, a wealth advisor, real estate investor in the United States and Canada, and creator of Wealthy Women in Real Estate. Every week, I meet with Colette, a real estate broker and a real estate investor in Canada. We come together to talk about all things real estate investing and how to increase your wealth. Join us. Welcome everyone. This is Araceli, Transition Wealth Advisor in U.S. and Canada real estate investor. My chat with Colette, we have actually a kind of funny uh, story. Or, and sure, uh, Colette, so. can you introduce yourself and let us know what we're talking about today? Of course. Hi, everybody. My name is Colette Rava. I'm a real estate broker in the GTA, uh, which means I love helping homeowners buy and sell anywhere. Etobicoke, Mississauga, uh, Brampton, Burlington, Oakville, and anywhere in the West End, I guess. Yeah. Um, and Aracel and I, you know how we love real estate. We love uh, any type of questions, any comments you have, anything that if you want to subscribe, we would love to see you subscribe. Ask us questions because this is what the show is all about. And sometimes, Aracel, because we talk about real estate so much, we sometimes have a little bit of fun. So we thought we would share that today. And uh, sometimes we we talk about how homeownership is almost like having a relationship like really you're you're in love with your house but that's not what we're talking about <laughs> you're in love with your income properties but really it's kind of like relationship status so you know when you look at oh, okay are you single are you married so we thought okay how is that like home ownership so we came up with a couple things and, and we thought it was kind of funny because yeah. it's so so similar right yeah, absolutely. So, so the first one is easy. Committed. When you committed, say committed. Committed, yes. That means you own a home, you're committed to taking care of it. Yeah. <laughs> you have to put love into it. And yeah, you cannot live it, like you cannot leave it at any time. You got to really think about it. You're going to exit the relationship, right? That's right. So because you're there, you have a signed contract you really have a signed contract right exactly like a marriage. and ultimately you're in love right yes. That's, i love that so yeah. so then the opposite would be single single <laughs> which means yes. you're a renter yeah so, yeah. That so you don't you're not committed you can leave at any time absolutely you're looking around <laughs> yeah. if you don't like it you just you know next month yeah. you go somewhere else right Very it's not big deal. that's right yeah so but even as you're a renter you could be committed and you might love your place too so that's easy to do that's easy yeah. so let's say engaged so if you're engaged who's engaged who's engaged so i'm you know hey uh maybe it's somebody who has an offer on a property but they're still not for sure. They haven't actually gotten married yet. <laughs> so, so that is what, you know, could be engaged that you have an accepted, you have an offer, it's accepted offer, but you're not exactly, you haven't, you haven't signed that paperwork. You haven't done that whole big marriage. <laughs> yet. Correct. And you can still change your mind. You can still um, say, well, you know, I don't like this house. Maybe I'll go to the next one. So you're still looking, you're kind of in between, right? Yes. Or you say, okay, you know what? It might take me longer. Like I know some engagements are long, like it might yeah. not be, oh, I haven't found the right guy or, or, or house yet. Right. <laughs> so, or girl. Yeah. So I don't know. Do you name your houses? Some people do that. Some people say, "Oh, this I call this house so and so," or you know, I don't um, know. If you do no, that. I usually when I have my houses, uh, I give them, I refer them by the name of the street, right? Yeah. So yeah. I would say, like, I have a house in Emerald Street. So when I refer to the house, I said I'm going to Emerald, right? So Emerald. I know. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. So some people name their their. I don't know. I don't do that, but you know, some people do that. Um, but I know that's not true. The cottage I actually uh, named it something I, on, on Instagram. It's a uh, little home in the Hamlet. So it's not a name, but it's like a little tag, I guess. Yeah, right? yeah that's cool. Yeah. yeah so uh, um, what about it's, it's complicated. Oh yeah. Then okay, another I'm in a relationship status, right? It's complicated. Yeah. So, so that's probably easy. Somebody who's not sure if they want to buy or not. Yeah. 
Yeah. So and one then, day they'll say, yes, I want to buy. And then the next day, no, 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 it's too difficult. Uh, it's too many things. What if I want to change my mind? What if I want to move somewhere else? Exactly. So they're kind of in this state of mind that they can't really decide. A lot of people. Going or coming or whatever, right? <laughs> yeah. And then what relationship are you in? I am in an open relationship. Oh, <laughs> I think I am too. What is yeah. an open relationship? So open relationship is when you have many houses. So you can go from house to house to house. And then you have different things, right? Because yeah. every house will give you different things. I think yeah. that's how open relationships work, doesn't it? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, if you have income properties, if you have rental properties, that's the thing. If you have a cottage, like that's kind of like, okay, it's my yeah. I get to go everywhere, you know? Exactly. So each one of the properties will give you something different and that's what it is. So you're really, you're really committed to many different houses, right? right. And now each one of them will create maybe some cash flow. Maybe you're committed to maybe one in order to flip it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or to go to a vacation. Um, so there's, we thought that this was kind of funny because, you know, yeah, you do have many commitments, right? It's like you are married to different houses because you have responsibilities. Right. You still have to take care of them. Uh, and make you have sure to that, juggle them all. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So juggle they don't get them. jealous of each other. <laughs> That's right. No, they don't get jealous. This is the good thing about it. You know, exactly. complains. Yeah. They this don't is talk. A good thing. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so we love these analogies uh, about how you can be in a relationship with your houses or your house, whatever it is. And I think that it is very important because it is a big commitment of when course. you yeah. have a property, whether it's your own property that you live in or you have an investment property. You can have a mix because, you know, for the longest time I had my triplex and I lived in one unit. So I lived in the house and it, it was also an income property sure, at the same yeah. time. And the same, if you don't have that, but you want to rent a room, that's also an income property for you, of whether course. you're there or not. Right. So that is super important. So I hope you had fun in this episode because I thought that it was kind of funny and we wanted to just yeah. uh, share that with you. Well, and the one thing that's most important about relationships, either with your homes or with people, you have to enjoy them. So as long as you're getting pleasure out of them or income out of them, then, you know, hey, that's that's what we all strive for, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's exactly why you get into a relationship, whether yeah. it's with a partner, whether it's with a friend, because you enjoy the company and you get something out of, out of it. Obviously, it's happiness some way yeah. or another, you know, companionship. So Joy. that's what relationships are about. So the same thing with your real estate investment properties or your own house. If you're not happy where you are, maybe it's time to make a change and maybe sell the property and get something else that maybe is bigger or smaller, depending on where you are in life. Yeah. And or a different location. That's exactly. the thing. Joy. It's the joy about being in the right place at the right time. That's really yeah. Important. Because sometimes, especially first home time buyers, they don't buy exactly where they want because they don't it's know. The only thing that they thought it would be okay, and or then they don't know. Well, they just don't what? like it. They don't like the area. Absolutely. They don't like the amenities. There's something about the house that they don't like. So this is a time to change. Don't marry the first guy that you meet, right? <laughs> it's just like, don't buy the first house that you go through. <laughs> exactly. Unless you yeah. love it. I mean, that's like a one in whatever chance that it's going to be. Exactly. Right so yeah, take your time. Let's see the houses, wink, wink. <laughs> Yeah. So that is the best recommendation. So always, always make sure that you get happiness out of your properties. That is the best advice that I can give you. So, and have fun. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Colette, for being here. And remember, guys, to subscribe and to ask us questions because that's what we're here for, to give you more information so you can make the right decision to buy an income property or not or make your first property, like the property that you oh, live in. Sure. Yay. That's right. So thank you, Colette. And uh, we'll see you at the next one. Okay.
Okay, thank you and thanks for joining us, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you for being here on the show. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when there are more shows available. And if you would like to have more information on how to start investing in real estate, please visit my website at www.arisalihernandez.com. Thank you.